You know for sure how to speak, read and even write, but do you remember how you did that? I will explain the steps we go through when we learn a language, so stay tuned and let's get started. As a babies, we learn to hear from our parents, family, kindergarten, TV or other voice emitting devices. Then, as a toddlers, we try to talk with very simple words combination and in the end, as children, we discover that there is something else we need to learn from being able to master a language, namely writing and reading. For sure, many babies are aware of writing signs before even they realize that this is actually a language. And the signs are everywhere in their life, beginning from drinking cups and fridge notes, ending with the streets and road signs. And still, people learn writing and reading quite late in their life, at age 6 or later in the kindergarten or school. Anyway, writing is a very recent invention, and still today there is people around many places in the world who cannot read or write. Even in the developed countries, more and more young people can't write. But not because of lack of learning, but because of technology and digital innovations. In nowadays, beginning with Generation Z, a change is occurring. They don't learn to write, instead they learn to type. You can be disagree with me, but I met by myself such persons that couldn't write, but they could perfectly read and type, if it was a digital writing. So, how about learning a language when you are an adult? Do you make the same steps as babies do? Not really. Often the adults and pupils in school begin with reading and writing, but not the reading itself that gives them ability to understand the content, rather memorizing the pictures of words or reading with images. Individuals most of the time in the beginning of learning a language are reading in mind and don't know how to pronounce it, but they know exactly what it means. Such word could be light, core or kernel, which make no sense for how you write because you pronounce anyway so different. This confused phenomenon is not specific for English language and could be found in all the languages without exception. After understanding the reading language, people are still far from understanding speaking language. To solidify this fact, we can look as example in many countries in Asia and other places where people know how to read and write, but have a worse understanding of hearing and speaking language. So, once ready with reading and writing, people focus on listening when they connect the writing words with the vocal sounds. And at last, when we can hear clearly every tone and sound, we reproduce it by ourselves to succeed with the speaking language. Taking in consideration many facts and examples where children can read as early as from one year old, as Prometheo Olympia were many other examples where we actually see and hear how children do that. Then we come to the conclusion that education of children is wrong. Babies have the same abilities as adults and can read and understand what adults speak before even start to talk. In fact, according to Concordia Princeton study, bilingual babies not only understand two languages, but can even tell the difference between the languages. Since the babies and toddlers' abilities are underestimated, we don't even try to teach them reading. I, though, don't want to define it as reading rather than picture recognition. And still, I see it as a huge step forward to introduce the writing to babies and infants very early in their age. It's not strange at all. Think more carefully, because we learn writing and reading in school and spend a lot of time in the school, almost 6 to 7 hours every day. Now think how many parents use so much time to educate their toddlers, 
quite few because they are busy doing something else like shopping, cooking, housekeeping, working, Netflix, Facebook, what, whatever else they do. The list is long here. So next time you hear that some babies can read, don't be surprised or confused because there is no superhumans or genius babies. Just someone spend more time to learn them reading, writing, singing, counting, painting. The list is also long here what we could learn our babies. But we just don't have that time for our children, so simple is that. As you may be heard the expression, genius people consist only of 10% talent and the rest 90% is just training. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about teaching babies in early age, is it good or bad? That's it for now, see you next time, don't forget to click subscribe button and bye!